Electricity and current flow is all about electrons. You'll have seen in textbooks pictures like this of an atom. Well, they don't really look like this. We have no idea what they look like. But we do know that the electrons surround the nucleus. They're on the outside of the atom. So if we take a non-conductor, a plastic strip or a plastic ruler like this and rub it on a cloth, then it becomes charged up. It becomes electrically charged. Consequently, if we bring it up to this aluminium foil, the foil charges up. You can see it's charged up because the leaves are repelling, like charges repel. And if I touch it, they discharge. Both the ruler and the cloth become charged here because electrons on the outside of the ruler are rubbed off and transferred to the cloth. The ruler is positively charged because it's lost some electrons and electrons are negatively charged, leaving a balance of positive charge behind. So the amount of electric charge is about how many electrons there are extra or how many fewer there are. But electrons themselves have got a very tiny charge, so it wouldn't make sense to count those. We measure charge, electric charge, in coulombs. And one coulomb is the equivalent to about 6 times 10 to the 18 electrons. Current flow is all about when electrons move, skipping from atom to atom. Original researchers in electricity realised that something was flowing and they guessed that it was flowing from what we now call positive to negative. But they were unlucky and wrong and most electric current is electrons flowing from negative to positive. We measure electric current in amps with an ammeter. An ammeter has to be inserted into the circuit so all the current flows through it, as is the case with these three ammeters all of which read the same because the same current flows all the way around a series circuit. So how many electrons have to flow for a current of one amp? As I said before, electrons are very small and therefore we measure current flow in terms of coulombs. That's a very large number of electrons, 6 times 10 to the 18, remember. A current one amp is flowing if a charge of one coulomb flows every second. So 2 coulombs a second would be 2 amps and 3 coulombs a second 3 amps. Current therefore as an equation, current in amps is the amount of charge flowing in coulombs divided by the time it takes in seconds. The equation is sometimes more useful the other way around so we'll write it that the quantity of electricity in coulombs that has flowed is equal to the current in amps multiplied by the time in seconds. Thank you for watching.